which Janet and I are going to try to do live. So my friend Janet's going to help me do that. So I did send out um, 10 or 12 kits in the mail uh, to folks to do um, cards. Um, one of the things I like to do is I like to do cards. I like to make cards. Um, thank you cards, birthday cards, um, anniversary cards, the, the like. So this was something that we thought we could do fairly easy. Um, last year we did chalk couture as our make and take project. And then this year we're, we decided to do this card making. So hang with us for a little bit while we figure out where we need to set stuff up so you can see it. Thanks, Vicki. I just saw your message from Gage County. So we have somebody from Southeast Nebraska. She thought this was really interesting. She's seeing plants that they don't have in Southeast Nebraska. So thanks, Vicki, for getting on this evening. And yes, there's a possibility I can, I can share the PowerPoint. Um, it's gonna be rather large with the videos on there, but I'll do some check and Robin and let you know um, what I can do with that. And let us know if there's any questions that you guys have um we're gonna roll into the card making part of it and we're just gonna figure out how we need to make this thing work bear with us okay there we go we're trying to figure out where we can put it so you guys can see what we're doing <laughs> we're on speaker now thank you heather thank you heather hi neva you guys want to start with a simple one first the triangle one I've never made cards before. Okay, so you, so Addie's got hers. I'm gonna let her get hers out. Would you let me to hold the other stuff? Yeah, I just okay. okay, which one are we gonna pick? So if you got a card kit, you'll have two. Just that one. Yep. So you have two cards. So we're gonna start with the one that um, when you open it, there's two triangles. And then that should be the one that has all of the rest of your pieces for both of your cards in there. So we kind of, yes, we're going to maybe put them back in your envelope so they don't blow away here. So you guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yep. So Janet, you have to speak up. Okay. So there's um, some of these are two sides. Yeah. Okay. So you're just gonna take your um, triangle and adhere it to the front of Ooh. your triangle, either by using some um, Tombow probably adhesive. The Tombow adhesive is probably easier. Uh, yes. So it goes to like. Like using a whiteout oh, runner. Yeah. I was gonna say it's that part. Yeah, you just oh, so you're gonna flip it over yeah. and then you just put it over here mm -hmm. inside of your paper. Cool. And you just run it. Oh, like your white stuff. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And then maybe try to get it on the corner a little bit. Yeah. Can I ruin it? I broke it already. No, nope, that's the broken one. You can't know there's two broken ones. <laughs> <laughs> did it. Sorry. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> So it has an edge. The nice thing about the liquid glue is you can still 
giving. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. That one doesn't. No, that one doesn't. No. So, once you put your. Look at that. Yeah. Um, the other thing, Janet, I was going to um, say that part of the reason that we're doing the cards that we're doing is we've just cut them a different way. Your base cardstock, we've just cut it different. So literally, it's an eight and a half by eleven sheet, and you just cut it on the diagonal. Mm -hmm. So you literally would take your paper and you would stick it in like that, and just literally cut oh. it on the diagonal. And then you have two, and they have two cards. Maybe show them. The screen. There you go, Janet. Corner to corner. And you have to take the scoring blade out on that one. So if you have a 12 by 12 um, cutter, it works really slick. So you can just dip down. And so then the next thing you could do is you can pick out your sentiment. So every card kit, we sent two sentiments or three sentiments that you could pick um, from to put on your two cards. So we give you some choices. Yeah, you can pack them on dimensionals if you want. 3D effect. Big. I this one. Where would you? So you can really put it anywhere you want on your card. You okay, so you I would probably do these than that. Okay, yeah. So. Um, you're going to want to open up your card, let's say, this way. Okay. So you're only going to put your dimensionals on this part. So I would put like one, two, three dimensionals, like on that. So then, um, so you can either go, so you can either go, so if you did it this way, then this you're going to put it down on your bowl. So if you put it on this one, then that's And then we'll just take it back. Yeah. So then your code opens up So you're not going to actually want them to be because if you put you're only going to want them on half of the because if you put them on the side it'll open to get right here so look Thank you. 
Yeah, no better. I have to have pictures. Show them further down in the camera. Can you show the flowers a little bit lower? Oh, I mean, show the examples. Show the examples lower. Oh, okay. Like that? Yeah, perfect. Oh, okay. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. What about the flower? They can barely see that one. So oh, we'll just... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> so, do you want to show them how we can make the daisy into an upright stone flower? You want me to do that? Or you can do it. You can do it. It's easy. I can do it. So, do we have, so you want to show these? So, so these are made from two Care if we show we use yours? Sure. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> sure, I do care. <laughs> and these were really fun. Um, we were able to just take those. So there's a pattern paper, and then there's also a stamp that you can use to stamp on them. And then I just found a little round magnet. So that's how these are sticking to the table, is because we put a magnet on them. And so you can have them to put on your fridge or your cubicle or if it's magnetic or steel or whatever. So that was just a fun little thing that we did with the punches as we made them. So now you can make them into a cone flower. So you just going to put these in there. Okay. They're laughing about something. Just rotate them. And then once it gets a little bottom, there, then you can't be able to see that for a while. Oh. So, how did you do that? Yep, you just put out, you just keep just working on them until you offset them. a little bit. Oh, I see. Like that. Just like a little yep. blue dot on the. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I even used my tape runner when I did them too. You won't need very much glue. I imagine. <laughs> And then you have a little blue dot. Oops. Which one did you do on the pot? The pink? Either one. You could do either one. Either one. That's what's so cool about using the paper the way you do. You can use it however you want. Are these two? And then there's the. And then if you have your little pot, just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back. Oh. Okay. So well, these are some other ones that oh, Heather you? has made. She's two different colors of pink. That was really pretty. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. So basically, when you cut them in half, you'll get two. You'll get two little cone flowers out of your of your daisy. Oh, they're blowing away. Can do it, you guys can. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> not the least bit artistic. 
This it just takes a little creativity. Oh, beautiful! Look oh. at that. Oh, nice. Oh, and she made it into a card that that can hold money. Money. You can, can yeah. you can write your message in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because right. we do right. have another we have another card to make. So okay. you can do your message and stuff later. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, on my own time. Yep. Like, so you can put find someone wherever you want to put that in your envelope. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna bag that and everything is full. Cool. You can make the you should have a big one in there to make your big is this flower. A, is this the magnet or is it just a piece of that, that goes into your big flower, I think. Like this or this one. Do you want to make a larger one? She made the larger one. Where do you get this? Where do you where do you get this? Um you can get them at any Yes. Any arts and crafts store? Any arts and crafts store, yes. I mean, it's a punch. It's basically a punch. Yeah. So um, that's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> no, actually, no. You oh, could buy the top one. It's. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> They couldn't see it. <laughs> 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 okay, right okay. And this is the next one you guys are going to make. So I'll let you guys figure that out where to put it so they can see it. Yeah. Okay. We put it on this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they can see that. You guys see that okay? Okay. Yeah. Oh. This one's easy. Yeah. Everything's scored. So if you got your kid in the mail, everything is scored. So um, so you have a white base card. That's one piece. So find your white base card. And then you're going to have a pattern piece. Um, that's scored. That means no. Scored means that is um, it has a crease on there. That is something. Yes, that's gorgeous. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yes. So yeah, you can switch your paper. So your paper is um, double. It has pattern on both, both sides. sides, so you can choose which pattern both you want to use. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so then the next step is putting on this pattern paper to your white base. So on your folded art, you have to fold to be on the top. Nope. The fold to be on the top. Fold to be on the top. The white. The white. And then oh. you're gonna turn oh, it. Okay. Way. Okay. So, so you like, want to show? Yeah. So it's like gonna be like this. Is on the top. So this is it. It's folded on the top. On the top. I'm going to choose the side I want up. We're going to put it like that. And then you okay. kind of want to center that on so your yeah, white piece. You're going to center that. So the a little white edge around it. Yep, a yep. <laughs> Super there you go. You can do that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I turned this correct. Okay. Yes. This is why I can't. So yes, you're gonna leave material. a little white. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the tape runner it works. Right. And so you don't want to go. Yeah. And I would just make a little swirly line all the way. Yeah. There you go. Sit across. Just do around the, or just do it around the edge. You already get that other side. Yeah, and then that with the glue, you kind of got to work that around a little bit. Sure. Actually, make it's sure it's sticking. Yeah. Let me show you. So Sherry has her face. 
and then it's going to flip up like that. <laughs> and then you should have, and then you a, have two white pieces. Two white pieces. And they're going to go into those panels. Oh, gosh, that's two white pieces. Yeah. Okay, so I've got, oops. Like this. Yeah, you're sure. Uh-huh. Got two, two, two white pieces. You'll send those. And I'll at least put the tape around for you. Come on. You know you want to work. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know, I think Blair helped us make earrings. Did he? They have a Did he? And he, I have some of them. They look pretty nice. The lace is still on. Still have those. Nice. Mike Winkler. They're they're pretty big turkey here. Yeah. Right onto the pattern piece, the larger pattern piece. Like this. Top there. And then your other colored piece will go right on the front. So this one goes, that one goes there. I hate to cover up that paper. I know. Well, no, like, well, you wouldn't have to. That's the other thing that's uh, cool about card making. You can make them however you want. Okay, so. Uh -huh. yep. yep. And then you're going to add this in. No, I didn't. I didn't get them any dimensionals. So, or glue dots. Glue dots. Okay. Sometimes we'll give them a little, a uh, little height too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want some dimensionals, okay, those are dimensional. So that's going to go on the bottom one, Sherry. Well, yeah. oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, the great icing. icing. So, but otherwise, then you oh, really you could do yeah. the yellow okay. one in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The color doesn't match. Yeah. So can everybody I see? Well, <laughs> you, know, you kind of want to talk about why you think it's important to start sending cards again. Well, um, everybody is so into like social media and um, which you could wish somebody a happy birthday or something, but you know, we all like getting happy mail instead of bills, <laughs> instead of bills in the mail. Um, but just to know that, you know, somebody has taken their time out um, either to make you a hand, a hand uh, stamp card or even if it's from the grocery store or whatever. Um, I think just just sharing or yeah. that you've actually taken time out and taking them. I think it's important. Um, it takes a little longer, of course, to yeah, think ahead, sending out birthday cards or whatever, but um, I think it's, it's relaxing to do it at home for card making. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, look gorgeous. at that. Look at I that. I love that. Yay. That is nice. Oh, can you show it again? Heather didn't get to see it. No. 
Oh, very nice. pretty. Nice. Look how she did the two. Awesome. I, I, I like that. I like. Good job. Lacey Cork, are you still on? Is Lacey, Lacey, what does it look like? What does yours look like? Lacey, are you making yours? She's super ugly. Yeah, I'm here. Let oh. me figure out how to do video. Uh, oh, you should not do that video. video. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Leslie, I didn't get to send you one in the mail. Oh, there's Lacey. Oh, oh, oh yeah. pretty. Very pretty. She chose to leave her. Oh, no. Thank you. That was my bag. Sorry. <laughs> I know. That was all me. Let it blow away. Where is the little bag? I actually, honestly, before my last year, my master's thesis, I sent out letters to my entire family to try to buy Sure. And my grandmother and I write back a lot. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, I, oh, I've saved all of them. They're in a bag in the back room. So there should be another. There like, should be another one. little one. And if there's not, I need one. Like, I one. Yeah, I've saved all my letters, and I hope one day to um, organize them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, I even have like even just recipes that my grandmother has had wrote out and those in her own handwriting. Um, those are really sentimental. Really? Yeah. My husband. Yeah. Versus just a, a drug store. Um, yeah. Yeah, a little one. Like all the holidays. Yeah, that's sweet. My grandmother makes May baskets still. Oh, yeah, yeah, and gives them to people. She, they're mm -hmm. more. I should learn how to make them. Do you need help holding stuff, Sherry? Or you? you mean to put a glue? Yeah, if you were. Oh, that would help. <laughs> Because sometimes it on. takes a village. Oh, so many carts to help each other out. You said a little bit that, yeah, that glue is forgiving, so or you can move it around where you need a little bit. There you go. I can't remember what. I think it was one or two Christmases ago, but I asked my grandmother to send me the recipes she had. But half the time, she's just so good at cooking at this point that she doesn't really follow one. Yeah. But, she, but she, got, she got so tired of writing them out, she just sent me her recipes. <laughs> <laughs> With the rest of yeah, she didn't need them anyway. Yeah, she's like, here you go. It's nice because I have them in her handwriting, and, yeah, and, and we still like them. We still have some of my other funny. grandmothers who's passed, um, except for when my dad lost that one recipe. I was really mad about. <laughs> Get over to my aunt. Why would you do that? No, it literally so was never given in the original. No, never. Oh my gosh, if that ever goes anywhere, <laughs> they bring them to us. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see, are they? Well, let's see. Oh, oh that's cute. Look that's how we did that. Oh, okay, that's oh, show, yeah, show the cards. Is so that cute? cute. A little bit closer to you. Sorry. Oh, this way. Hang on. You're just like, no, you're fine. That's cute. <laughs> 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 this is fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 so ask Carolyn if they'll show theirs. Oh, there's Carolyn. Carolyn or Neva. <laughs> oh, they're eating. They're having a pollinator friendly picnic. Oh, well, there's one. Oh, nice. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Oh, Lacey, can I see it again? I didn't get to see it. 
My friend just had a birthday and I never sent her a card. So now you have a card it. to send her. Yep, well, that's <laughs> literally what I said too. Because yeah. I used to be really good and said presents <laughs> right after college. And then things changed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind giving me a tab? No, not at all. Heather? <laughs> Mike wouldn't stay to make the card, so I made them instead. Oh, oh, look how she did the dance. Oh, with... you put a little design on it. I edge. love it. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. That's Yay. That'd be a fun little oh, graduation card, even. Mike wanted to go do something else, so I logged in from Kimball instead. Thank you, Danelle. You're welcome. Thank you. Awesome. Um, it's um, Danelle Klosterman, so it's one of our bios. Oh. He's a teacher at Kimball. I'm at school, oh, wow. of course. School. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And Danelle, it's so cool because Danelle teaches about monarch butterflies in her classroom. So. We are planting uh, showy milkweed in the front of the school next week. Awesome. Ooh. We have a do you have, do you have plants? Is that the plants that Mike's been growing? Yeah. Mike's awesome. got, he's got um, some growing outside the office, and then a little small because box. I have so many kids involved here, and I've had so many years of it, okay. we're gonna plant yeah. showy yeah. and butterfly in the front like plot, so we can nice. have a that nice. butterfly. That butterfly milk is gonna be gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, that's the. So we're excited. We have some kids that do well. I just got moved. I'm moving to kindergarten now, but. Yeah. Um, we have some kids that do the life cycles, and we have some kids that do the PF planting projects, too. So my third okay. graders have done that. So PF has been very helpful. Look at cherries. Can you guys see it? It is so pretty. Look how she did the little flowers. To add to yeah. That's see perfect. That? She left writing space. Yeah. Isn't that cute? I love that. So, Addie, can you talk about your um, tour coming up real quick? Yeah. Why well, you have avid listeners? Avid listeners. So, I am um, uh, the farm biologist out of North Platte, and we were originally going to do kind of a pollinator palooza day. We were partnering with Conservation Nebraska, but unfortunately with COVID, we kind of changed it up. So, we're going to do a virtual tour. And um, we have a post on our Nebraska um, Pheasant Forever page about the event, as well as Conservation Nebraska, where you can sign up. And we're going to be talking and building um, little tin can pollinator houses, in addition to uh, talking about some of our programs, like Heather did, hopefully get some pictures of wildflowers here soon. And we're also going to be building bluebird boxes and um, so that should be fun. For the first 25 people in and around North Platte, Ogallala, Lexington, Hook, I'm going to have supplies uh, for the bluebird boxes and for the tin can um, pollinator houses at game, the Game and Parks office in North Platte tomorrow, so Thursday and Friday, that people can pick up and it's for free. It's for, for people to come and just have fun and learn about neat stuff and then watch me attempt to build one on screen without... I haven't injuries. cut my hand off making them so far, so we're good. <laughs> but yeah, I'll have all the wood and the screws for the bird boxes, and I'll have paper for the little pollinator wrap tubes for them to nest in and the little tin can. So that's what we'll be doing. Thank you, Heather. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's Saturday. Saturday. So Addie's Saturday at 11. And it's a, it's another Zoom meeting, so she got to come practice on Zoom here. Lacey, what kind of wine are you drinking? Um, it's the strawberry stuff from Niagara Valley Vineyards. Nice, nice. <laughs> so thanks everyone for joining. We did run a little bit late. I'm so sorry, but um, I hope you guys had a great time. I know we did here. Um, 
it was really fun. I got to go spend a couple of great evenings with a couple of great people and, and teach people more about plants that are growing. And it's really fun for me. So I know Bailey and Diane, Heidi, I know they usually come and Donna and Robert usually come. So we're glad that you can come. But we're glad we could do this virtually and, and reach a few more people. So I do know we had some people from um, Arkansas and eastern Nebraska and, and Colorado. Um, Peyton, thanks for getting on tonight, and Leslie. And um, we hope that this has recorded. And if it has recorded, um, we'll be sending out a link later this week. So if you didn't get a view our tour, you'll get a chance to go back and view the tour. So. Thanks everyone for joining us this evening and thanks Carolyn for hosting a watch party at your house and I hope you guys had a great time this evening. So have a good night everybody. Thank you Heather for all your hard work. You're welcome. Thanks Donna. See you Lacey. Bye. Bye. Addie says bye. Good job. Thanks. It's fun. <laughs> yeah.